Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do your reading for, well, right now. Um, I usually do your reading, first of all, during the week, uh, at the first of the week, and then I just come and drop some little pearls of wisdom on you throughout the week. This is one of those readings. How are you? Happy hump day to you. Happy midweek. You'll probably be seeing this one sometime on Thursday morning, but... Um, if you are here and you are brand new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking here. I hope you'll reach out and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the content here. And uh, please don't forget to say hello in the comments. I want to know if you're new. I want to know who you are, where you're from, where are you watching from. If you are somebody who clicks here all the time, thank you, my Taurus tribe. I do appreciate how you love me. Thank you so much for clicking here and giving me the thumbs up. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's talk about Taurus. What's the energies right now? This is no date or times on it, y'all. So whenever you find it, if it resonates, it will. Or it may not. It is a general reading after all. There we go. All right. So we have something that's been moving kind of slowly that's at the top of your mind. It's been a long time. It's been moving very slowly. We've been very careful been very careful with what hmm the empress is being careful hmm we've got the chariot which is cancer we've got um the knight of pentacles and then we have the empress who is taurus and libra so i i feel like there is at the top of your mind, Taurus, is that you've been waiting. I think that you've been trying to keep your back to the waiting. I feel like you're trying to carry on with life, doing your own thing, hanging out with whomever. I feel like there is a distance between you and another that you've been thinking about. I think the Knight of Pentacles represents that person or how they're moving. You could be dealing with a um, another Taurus or a Libra. You could also be dealing with a Cancer. Intuitively, you know that this, this thing is coming. It's traveling. Um, it is moving. There is movement here, yeah. Someone who has a lot to say. There is all kinds of blue on here. Someone who has a lot to say, I feel. Let's keep going, Taurus. kind of love this this depiction of the empress look at her she's got a cat on her lap <laughs> there's probably not very many empresses that don't have a cat i'm just saying <laughs> as i've noticed on the platform <laughs> i think i might be one of the few um and it's not because i can't it's, or, or or sorry it's not because i don't want to it's because i can't right now but otherwise i'd have one in my lap too all right here we go let's keep moving Hmm. You know it's coming. You do. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like there is somebody here who wants to talk to you. And I feel like they've been keeping their emotions under the surface. So the chariot is here and that is cancer energy. I know that energy quite well. That energy is a one of um not quite breaching the surface, but moving <laughs> at the speed of light, yeah. It feels like there is um the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You don't have to be. You could have that in your chart somewhere. But it feels like somebody here um, has something to say. The person who has been taking a very long time is the one, I believe, who is kind of gone from a trot to a gallop is what I want to say. The, the King of Swords tells me that somebody is coming in to tell the truth or to get the truth to ask a series of questions and get some logical answers we're going to keep our emotions out of this it's kind of interesting how the king of swords is pointing at the chariot because the king of swords is all about logic and reason and facts and you know those kinds of things they're more of a lawyer than they are of a lover i want to say but um the fact that the king of swords is pointing at the chariot tells me that the king of swords has some really deep feelings that are underneath the surface yeah. 
And so this person is going to come at you with a little bit of velocity, Taurus. The Knight of Swords is here. Your back is to the Knight of Swords. And so I feel like you have been, you know, this has been in the back of your mind, but you really haven't been paying a lot of attention to it. I think it's a, it's about to, I want to say it's going to ruffle your feathers a little bit. Um, I feel like it's, it's coming in. It's coming in in pentacles and swords, you understand. There's no cups here. There's some emotions under the surface. So I think that you need to really be ready for someone that's coming in. Um, big energy. I'm in charge kind of energy. And they're coming with a line of questioning or coming with this sword of truth. Tell me the truth or I'll cut you out. It feels like a... It doesn't feel like a romantic energy. It feels like somebody who's been scorned or is angry with you or somebody who knows. It's almost like the <laughs> Charlie just showed me. Um, it's almost like when the when the you tell the kids to go to bed, right? And they're standing in the doorway and then they throw a little kind of noodle fit, right? The body goes all noodly and they fell on the floor. That's kind of <laughs> the energy that I'm getting here. Yeah. It's like a, a little bit of a someone is Someone in this this Knight of Pentacles is only coming in. They're taking their time and they're only coming in because they feel like they should. And only really because I feel like, Taurus, they want answers from you. Yeah, they're keeping this under the surface, but they want answers from you. And I think it's almost like this person is coming in like, not even against their will, but like, okay, well, this is something I need to take care of. Um, Taurus and I haven't, haven't had a conversation for years. It's time that we did that. It's almost like they're, it's not an obligation. I'm not going to say it's that. It's like, it's it's a thing on their to-do list. It's like this, this energy feels too badly for me not to go towards Taurus and correct it. We've got the five of wands in the reverse. I feel like the for the amount of time that it's taken for things to come to fruition here, that you have had a long time to think about if this ever happened, Elsie, if this person ever came forward and I was able to speak with them, how would I deal with it? I feel like you're choosing to respond and not react because the five of wands is in the reverse. I feel like you're choosing to respond to this person in a logical, factual kind of way. Because you already know there's a couple love on the table. You know that this person is attracted to you. You're very attracted to this person. I think that in the wisdom of the Empress, the Empress knows that this energy is coming. It feels like it's coming. The Empress is highly intuitive, right? Being the Queen of Cups. And um, I feel like the Empress feels this coming, therefore she doesn't even have to look at it. It's like she feels the vibration, she or he, right? Masculine or feminine, if you qualify as the Empress, you do. Um, the Empress has all of the energies of all of the queens, all of the lessons, right? She knows not to get overly emotional. She is also the Queen of Wands. She knows to drink from her own cup so she doesn't get depleted. You know what I mean? She's very well-rounded, right? I feel like the Empress has her back to the situation as though, fine, let the universe take care of it. Yeah, it's coming. That's fine. It's coming quickly. I believe there's going to be a big set of questions coming at you. I want to say a questionnaire. That's the word I just saw in my mind's eye, a questionnaire. This person's going to want yes, no answers to some things that's, that they have questions about. I think you're really attracted to this person. I think you let them get away with coming in and, and dealing with you whatever way they feel comfortable because you're the empress. If they come in in swords, you match them in swords. If they come in in wands, you match them in wands. You're the mirror, right? So this person's coming in as the king of swords, who I believe is going to be met with the queen of swords. I don't think the king gets that just yet. Um, this person is coming in also, uh, I feel, um, they're going to show you that they're really passionate about you very quickly. It's not going to be any, you're not going to have to have any guesswork when this person sees you. It's either going to be like a wow, oh, you look great. Or do you know what I mean? It's, you're not good. It's not going to be any guesswork about how they feel about you in terms of passion. I feel like this person is coming in with logic and reason, coming in as the king. I feel it's a defense mechanism is what I feel. This person feels most in control when they are in their king of swords energy. 
I feel like this person is apt to be impulsive according to their passions. And so I think that the King of Swords is a tag along so, so as to keep the King of Wands in line. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, I know that I know that you're really attracted to Taurus, but we have to keep it in logic and reason and we must keep the emotions under the surface. But the thing is, is that, Taurus, you know that this person's coming in to speak with you for a specific reason. We have the Ace of Swords and the, and the Ace of Cups. This person is coming in because they want to talk about their feelings with you. Whether that's their intention as they start out or not, I feel like that's what it leads to. It leads to you transforming the energy between you so this person begins to talk about their feelings or how they feel about you or that they want this new start. We have the Seven of Pentacles here as well. So we've been waiting for this conversation for a long while. I think that you had to become someone who was flexible, Taurus. The Five of Wands tells me that you needed to stop beating yourself up about it, being an indecision, not really knowing what you wanted. It feels like you got really serious with the universe, with your manifestations. There's a little bit of waiting here, but I feel like the waiting now is the hesitation on the part of the person that you're dealing with. This does not feel like two separate energies to me, by the way. It doesn't feel like people. Um, it feels like just there is somebody here who has both of these energies. So the person that you're going to be speaking with, Taurus, if you need more details, is this person is somebody who, who walked away from you, somebody who disconnected from you emotionally. And it's been a long while since you've talked to this person. We know that because we see the Knight of Pentacles and we also see the Seven of Pentacles. There has been something there was something, a pearl you dropped, some sort of information you dropped or wisdom, something that that grew, I believe. I believe that they're that they grew in how they felt about you or how they felt about you or as opposed to how they feel about you. I think somebody's ready to tell the truth about wanting to have a new beginning. We really need to talk about this. I know I disconnected from you. Somebody cut you out here and it was painful. Queen of Cups. Wow. We're going to drop the burdens. We're going to talk about our feelings. Yeah, I think there's just, you know, the Ace of Cups is pretty powerful energy. The opening of a new cycle full of you know, overflowing emotion and love. I feel like somebody here lives at a distance from you. Um, but I also feel like someone feels distant from you emotionally. Yeah, this person needs to needs to pass you the cup. They don't know if you're not going to pour it out or not. I feel like the King of Swords is coming in as logic and reason, you know, trying not to let you know how they feel about you because they feel you're going to do this. They feel like you're going to pour out the cup. Now, I know as I look at the Queen of Cups that we know as readers, we know what that means, right? But it seems to feel like the opposite for me right now. Yeah, it's not that the queen is hurt. It's that this king is scared that the queen's going to pour out the emotion. Anything that he had left. There is a realization here. And it could be, Taurus, that some of you are just going to turn this person away and say, this is too burdensome a connection. I cannot do this anymore. And for some of you, the tower with the queen of cups means I am pouring out this cup forever. It's become too burdensome. For those of you who have decided that you're going to let this person come forward, I think for you, the tower's a realization that there is still love here. And the it's a it's a, an upheaval or a change of mind. It's like we have to drop the uh, we have to drop the the wands, the ten wands, if we want to be able to open up to each other in love. We need to ground ourselves and we need to heal together if this is going to work. This is what is going to make your king and emperor. We have two energies here, and I said it felt like the same person. Yeah, it is the same person. It is the emperor. I feel that somebody here through. It feels like. It feels like for those of you who have decided to carry forward here, um, that the tower falling tells me that you drop the burdens with the king and it allows the king to flourish into the emperor because the queen is here. She's the queen of pentacles. She's the one who is mimicking the empress, right? 
and now we have the emperor and the empress here so i feel like in it oh yes sorry just listening for a second Okay, understood. This is really very cool. A very cool message from Charlie. Um, so we have the King of Wands and the King of of um, Swords here. So this this King is trying to master the Emperor energy, and as he comes in, I feel that you provide the Pentacles, or you provide the stability in the relationship. And then the only one missing then is the King of Cups, and that's the love. I think you're going to teach this emperor how to love. That's what it feels like. You're going to teach the emperor how to love, how to be grounded, how to be stable. You're going to heal it, Four of Wands, or sorry, Four of Swords. You're going to heal it. I feel like the emperor is trying to heal as well, um, wanting to drop those burdens. Tell me about this tower, please. Energy in the Tower for Taurus. Hmm. It's a realization that we have to drop the burdens because Ten of Pentacles, this is the long-term relationship. This is everything I've wanted. And so if we are going to get this off the ground, it starts with healing and dropping of the burdens. We have to realize that We have to realize that we have to drop these burdens, yeah. We have to start brand new. The Page of Wands is, is new and fun and, and free. And, you know, we have to lighten up the energies here because it's been, it's been really heavy energies for a while. Yeah, things are going to move forward here to a partnership. Yeah, we've got the healing going down here. We're healing the broken heart. And there's the King of Cups. There he is. Yeah, we talked about him, right? I feel like I felt like that here. This this Queen of Pentacles, um, who is the mimic of the the Empress, who is you. I feel like your your love and kindness to the King, I believe, levels the King up to the Emperor. That's what I believe. Yeah, because there's three Kings here. We're only missing the King of Pentacles, and you're the Queen of Pentacles. You bring the balance. Wow, it's kind of beautiful. What do we got here? Queen of Wands. This person's really attracted to you. There we go. That's what you wanted to see, right? Judgment and the lovers. Yep. Judgment and the lovers. And um, it looks like it's time to resurrect this thing of passion, right? We've got the king. There we go. This person sees you as their person. Yeah. This person sees you as someone who um, is their mirror, someone that they like because you're like them. for Taurus, please. We've got divine timing is here. It's going to be stressful, but be self-aware. I think as long as you are uh, self-aware, it says, it says tapping into your higher self, questioning your own routines and patterns, Taurus. And um, stress is uh, cleansing and detoxifying from unnecessary commitments. So maybe spending a little more time with you. Divine timing is coming. It says so right here. So um, it is divine timing for this stuff to go off. Let's talk about who this might be. Let's get a little more information from my deck here. Who's this person? Give Taurus some ideas who we're talking about, please. Who are we talking about, Taurus? Someone that you could be seeing in the next few weeks that is going to end up being your new love. Someone who could have lighter skin. Maybe lighter than you, maybe just lighter skin. But um, we have someone who has dark eyes, lighter skin, and is a past life connection. This is somebody that you already know. So it does feel like somebody... It's like somebody that you, you left way in the past. Um, I don't think... I think that you always felt that they would come forward, but 
it feels like you don't really care. Your back's to the situation, dear Empress. I feel like this person is coming in and has finally realized that they do have a past life connection with you and that they are a new love. This person is a pleasure seeker. They might be a business owner. Maybe you are. They could be a father. They could be a water sign. This person's coming in. is very confident. They are the king of swords after all. This person could, um, you could have Sagittarius energy or maybe they do. And this is a soul recognition. It might be that now is not the time. I'm just saying. So be aware this person coming in as the king of swords for some of you they really are just coming in to give you um, closure. And that's what I was saying. So now is not the time for some of you. They're just coming in to give you closure. For the ones of you that are that are willing to go through all the rest of this, I feel like it ends up with the emperor leveling up because you're giving stability to the situation. Yeah, I think that's what we've got. I think I'm going to go for now. Thanks, Doris, for coming here and clicking. Appreciate you guys. Love you so much. Thank you so much for coming here and loving me the way you do. I'm out. Bye-bye.